good day chemist in Japan de Godinas. Well, I've decided to throw caution to the wind and place my, my, my iPhone, which is also my camera, right above this uh, hydrothermal reactor autoclave that we use to do reactions in. When we need to do the reactions at a, at a temperature that is above the boiling point, we also want to add pressure because reaction kinetics are affected by both pressure and temperature. But uh, this reaction that I do is kind of scary for me because I've had some problems with it in the past. And basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a reaction here that turns, um, I'm basically, it's easy to think about it, I'm turning toluene into benzoic acid. And so what happens is I use nitric acid uh, at about, uh, about 30% nitric acid under uh, under these conditions, 170 degrees for 24 hours inside this um, autoclave. Uh, we also call it a bomb. Some people call them bombs, uh, but it's not that kind of bomb. But it is an autoclave, and inside uh, it generates pressure. But as the oxidation occurs of that methyl group that's on the on the benzene ring, that that benzylic methyl there, as the reaction goes, nitric acid is used up, and as a byproduct, it creates um, various other nitri nitrogen oxygen gases, um, NO, NO2 it creates. Uh, so that pressure builds up during the course of the reaction that adds to the pressure and that has to be released. So when the reaction is over, I cool these down actually in, in an ice bath so that um, they're cold. That helps reduce the pressure of the gas, but there's still quite a bit of gas and these reactions always bother me. So I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna show you what happens when it opens when I open it. So this is the this is the nut that holds uh, holds down the lid inside. Hopefully I can do this without knocking over my camera into the oil bath that's sitting right there. Probably didn't see I can see it. There's gas being released right there a little bit. You can see it kind of. I can hear it. And you can just see some wisps of, of uh, orange gas. This one was particular gassy. The other two that I've opened so far I've we're not this gassy. So inside, in and out, there's a plate right there. You can see it. And so now I'm going to remove the, the lid here. And I got to, oh, it's already loose. Slowly, the, um, the uh, NO2 gas will slowly come out of a uh, solution there. And now I've got one more to open. This is, a, this is a Teflon vessel, actually. It's good to high temperatures. But um, that's the unpurified product. So it's yellow right now. When I'm done with it, it turns, it'll be white. Uh, another crap that's resolved in there right now, but I first get everything out and then clean it up. And hopefully this will give me about a gram of uh, a product. 